So <clears throat> when I was in Mazatlan recently, um, inside my um, Airbnb, the lady, she does like these spiritual tours all over the world. So she had these beautiful photos up that she had taken, because she's a photographer, of people in um, Peru and Tibet and all these different places where she takes people on tours. So also inside the place was this drum. And I saw the drum and I said to myself, you know what? I've always wanted a drum. And so I told, so I, so I contacted her and I said, um, and I said, <clears throat> Where, where did you get this drum? Because I've always wanted a drum like this. And if they're here in Mexico, then I can try to find one. And she said to me that she had this handmade in Tibet and, um, and that she, it's looking for a new home because she doesn't play it as much as she had wanted to or as much as she used to. And so she said that I could buy it from her if I wanted. And so I thought about it and then I decided to buy it. So. I found some, um, like I found a, a drumming group here in Edmonton that I'm going to go to, but, but before I go, um, I, I've just been playing it just to, um, hi Nisi, just to see how I can play it. Okay. So I'm going to play a little bit. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I don't really feel like you actually have to know what you're doing. You just play. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I think that I think maybe it would be good for me to go on to like YouTube or something and watch videos. I haven't even done that yet. And I got back from Mexico like <clears throat> December 21st and now it's like January 19th. So it's been a month and I haven't even gone online to check out videos, but um, I feel like maybe if I did, I could learn some new techniques. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> And I think that's it. Okay.